Everyone here today is a witness to this marriage, this good gift and blessing from God. Ashley, you and I have dreamed of this day our whole life, and you are the most beautiful and radiant bride. I know that Johnny will cherish you, love you, and lay down his life for you. To my very soon-to-be wife, today is finally the day I've been praying for so long. In fact, I haven't been anticipating this day only since we got engaged back in December, but I've been anxiously waiting for this day since God put it on my heart to pray for my future wife many years ago. Back then, I was praying to an unknown woman. I didn't know what her name was. I didn't know where she was from or even where we would meet. All I knew is that God was calling me to be faithful in praying for the woman whom I would spend the rest of my life with. I know it was God who put me in your heart a few years ago. And I want to thank you for being brave enough to pursue me. Although it took time for you to capture my heart, you were patient and did not give up on me. God was writing our love story. With you, I'm safe, loved, and cherished. Through you, I get to see a glimpse of Christ's love. persistently writing her letters of pursuit, and she of course wanted my sisterly blessing to see if she should give him a chance. I felt in that moment the peace of God over me and I knew that this was going to be something extraordinarily special. It wasn't long before Johnny had earned Ashley's respect and adoration, which of course meant that Johnny had to be introduced to our YouTube channel. Así es que Dios ahora los está uniendo para caminar juntos. And so God is joining you together so that you would walk with him together. Y estamos seguros que Dios le va a guiar y le va a bendecir juntos. And so we very much trust that God is going to bless you and guide you as you follow him. Johnny, do you take Ashley to be your wife, to live together in holy matrimony, to love her, to honor her, to comfort her, and to keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others for as long as you both shall live? I do. Ashley, do you take Johnny to be your husband, to live together in holy matrimony, to love him, to honor him, to comfort him, and to keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others for as long as you both shall live? I do. So Johnny and Ashley, I declare you married. I pronounce you married in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Que los ayude Dios a cumplir con su palabra. May God help you keep your vows. El Lupe esposo ahora puede besar a su esposa. Johnny, you, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> Señoras y señores. Ladies and gentlemen. Le presento al matrimonio Armijo. It's my pleasure to pronounce you. The Armijos! You were such an amazing woman you've grown into it over the last 24 years uh, God gets all the glory for that we're just so happy that uh, you and Johnny are going to build a life together with a, a new chapter for us all to enjoy new memories it's my prayer for you too that in your marriage you would fear God above all else that you would trust his plan for your life and that you would lean into him in both the mountaintops and the valleys.
So we are very thankful and we are very proud of you, Johnny, for what God is doing in your life, in the present, and what He will do with you in the future. I just wanted to pop on here to say hello. My name's Ash. Coffee and Bible Time is a place for you to delight in God's word, so please consider joining our community. I wanted to tell you about a few things that we have been doing recently. The first thing that I don't want you to miss is our weekly email devotional. So this is a devotional that will come straight to your email inbox every single week on the weekend and it will give you three things to do throughout the week, three days of study. Right now, you guys chose to study through the book of Romans. This is what's going to help you get into your Bible, start reading your Bible, dive in. This is kind of like training wheels to help you get into your Bible, to give you the right prompts. It will take you to new resources and to new links that you've never seen before. It will help you learn how to in-depth study your Bible. So if you're looking forward to this resource as much as we are, we're just now starting Romans. So please join us. I'll have the link in the description. Another resource that I wanna to talk to you guys about today is our prayer journal. We have both a prayer journal and a prayer binder. A lot of you guys might already know about this, but if you don't, go check them out. We have them on our website. We also have them on Amazon now. So definitely go check out our prayer journals if you want a resource to help you learn how to pray, to help you dive into prayer, to make it creative, fun, to journal out your prayers, however you wanna do it, you can. It's a resource and tool to help you with your prayer life. Along with that, we also have courses on how to use these prayer journals, tips, tricks, everything that we love about these journals we have in there and we show you what we do in our journals, how we use them, how we've grown in prayer, everything like that. So I don't want you guys to miss out on these resources. Thank you so much for supporting Coffee and Bible Time, for being here as one of our family members. We love you so much and we're excited for what's to come in the future here at CBT. See you soon, guys. 